today we are going to learn how to make these beautiful little lightweight earrings with these pretty little jhumkis at the end. For this you are going to need some 5mm jump rings, some 3mm jump rings, crimp beads. You can also use any type of small silver metal beads that you have, eye pins. The length you need is the length of the earring that you want and hooks and today we are using these beautiful square faceted acrylic beads from Craft Gully. So to start with what we are going to do is we are going to take a jump ring and we are going to insert three crimp beads in the 5mm jump ring and a single crimp bead in the 3mm jump ring. For each earring we have used three of the 5mm jump rings and two of the 3mm jump rings. This is how we are going to make it. You take a jump ring and you open it. It's easier to work with pliers. You can also just work with hand and you open it and you can simply just slip the bead inside. It gets a little tricky sometimes and you can take your patience because these beads are like really tiny but it's worth the effort so there you have three of these and we'll do one more of this one of the small 3mm jump ring take a bead and you slip it in and we close it You take your eye pin and use a round nose plier and you just open up the loop a little bit. Now the first one to slide in will be the 3mm. Then you slip in your 5mm jump rings, all three of them. So what happens is that you have a gradation in your jhumki and it looks like it's a very well made bunch. And then you end it with a 3mm. So basically you have one 3mm jump ring, then you have three 5mm jump rings and then you have one 3mm jump ring at the end. And use your round nose plier again to tighten the loop. Another way of doing this is you don't open the loop on your right hand. You keep adding in your jump rings before you close it. That's another way of doing it. Sometimes I find it just easier to work with hands than the plier. So there you have your jhumki is ready. Now we slip in our beads. We're going to make the other one of this set. So we've got a red. And we slip in a yellow. And we slip in another red. Close the loop. Sometimes you need to trim the eye pin a little bit. And you make your loop. Before you tighten the loop, you can put in your hook. Saves you one more step. And you close it. 